Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make luscious lemon bars. These lemon bars are so luscious and thick with the perfect ratio of crust to lemon filling. They are so good. To start, you'll need to preheat an oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and line an eight by eight or nine by nine inch pan with parchment paper. Then you'll need to slice some cold salted butter into little one tablespoon slices and you'll need one cup total. Then place your butter into the bowl of a food processor along with half a cup of sugar and two cups of all-purpose flour. Then we'll pop the lid on and we'll pulse this until the mixture resembles sand or cornmeal. You can see that the mixture is nice and fine and all of that butter is cut right in. Pour this mixture into the prepared pan and then you'll want to gently press this down into the bottom of the pan and make sure you smooth it out into a somewhat even layer. Make sure you get into the edges and the corners as well. Then we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. While the shortbread gets its initial bake, we're gonna put together our lemon filling. You'll need one cup of lemon juice, which takes about four to five lemons, depending on how juicy they are. And I like to use freshly squeezed lemon juice because it has such a clean and bright flavor. I can always taste the difference with freshly squeezed. Set your lemon juice aside and get out a big mixing bowl and a hand mixer. You'll need one and a half cups of granulated sugar, and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Give this a quick mix together, and then we'll add in four eggs. And you wanna give those a good mix to combine with the sugar and flour. Once that's all smooth and velvety, we can pour in our one cup of lemon juice and mix that until it's well combined. Now at this point, our shortbread crust should be ready to come out of the oven. Your crust is only par-baked, so we're just gonna pull it out and then just set this down for a second. And we're gonna very gently and slowly pour our lemon filling on top. You don't wanna do this too violently or you'll create little holes in your shortbread crust and get some erosion going from the liquid. So I just like to scoop this in super gently and let it flow over the top of the crust. Then once you get it all in, we'll gently slide this back into the oven to finish baking. It'll take between 40 and 50 minutes for your filling to set. Just give the top a little tap, and if it jiggles, you'll know it needs a little bit more baking time. If it doesn't jiggle, you'll know it's done. Pull it out and set it on a wire rack to cool completely, and then dust the tops with powdered sugar. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.